Hey, Rob here for Quadratech.com. Today in Jeep news, we're talking Easter Jeep Safari. We've got some new concepts from Jeep, and I've got JL Factory Half Doors. Now, before we dive into those half doors, let's talk about the big event at hand. Of course, Easter Jeep Safari in Moab, Utah, with last year's event being canceled. Well, we're very much looking forward to getting back out to Moab for the event. Last year would have actually been our 10th anniversary attending Easter Jeep Safari. Now, unfortunately, this year we did have to cancel our annual barbecue night celebration that we normally host downtown with some of the COVID restrictions that are still in place. So maybe we're going to be putting off some of those 10 year anniversary celebrations for just one more year. Now, in addition, Red Rock Four Wheelers also had to cancel their vendor expo at the Old Spanish Trail Arena. However, Dixie Four Wheel Drive is hosting the Dixie Off-Road Expo in town. So if you find yourself in Moab for Easter Jeep Safari, make sure you swing by that event. It is free to attend. It is going to be on the 30th and 31st. So that's Tuesday and Wednesday during Easter Jeep Safari. There's going to be a ton of different vendors for you to check out some new products from. Of course, we are going to be in attendance with our 30th anniversary Jeep Wrangler Sahara YJL build. I'd love for you to stop by, chat for a few minutes, get to check out that Wrangler YJL that we built. I can't wait to get that out on some trails while we're in town, of course, as well. Now, if you haven't already, make sure you are subscribed, not only to our YouTube channel, but all of our different social media channels. We will be bringing you coverage all week long from Easter Jeep Safari. You can head over to the Torque blog at quadratech.com, as well as our Facebook and Instagram accounts. We're gonna be posting stuff for you from Easter Jeep Safari. And then of course, when we get back next week, well, I'll be posting a video recap for you guys right here on the Quadratech YouTube channel. Now, one of the highlights of Easter Jeep Safari is, of course, always the concepts from Jeep, and this year is no different. In fact, Jeep teased us just a few weeks ago with two renderings of some concepts for this year, and then this past weekend, well, they released all of the concepts that they're going to be bringing. In addition to four brand new concepts, they're also bringing along three concepts that, well, they would have been revealed last year at Easter Jeep Safari, so we're definitely going to have a packed house of some new concepts to check out. Now, I'm going to be bringing you some more in-depth, detailed looks at those concepts from Easter Jeep Safari, but I wanted to touch on what we should expect to see today for just a moment. Now, those four new concepts are called the Jeep Magneto, Jeepster Beach, Jeep Red Bear, and the Jeep Orange Peels. In addition to those four new concepts, we're also going to see the Wrangler Rubicon 392, which of course now is a production vehicle, but it's going to be great to see one of those in person. They're also going to have the Gladiator Far Out concept and the Gladiator Top Dog concept that would have debuted last year. Now, if we dive right into the Magneto concept, this doesn't appear to be some over the top crazy build at first look, but what it's hiding is an all electric drivetrain. So gone is a diesel or gasoline power plant under the hood replaced by an electric motor and a series of batteries placed around the Wrangler. I'm really looking forward to checking out this all electric version of the Wrangler. It's got a very open air look and feel to it. And I don't know about you guys, but I feel like I've seen that roll bar design somewhere before. Nice job, Jeep. Now the next concept we can check out here is going to be the Jeepster Beach. And this is an updated 1968 Jeepster Commando Resto Mod. I love that Jeep has been doing these Resto Mods for the past few years because they're blending some old school looks with new modern technology. And this Jeepster Commando has a brand new JL Dash in there. It's got a two liter turbo under the hood. So it's got all modern components there with those classic lines of an old Jeepster Commando. The carpet's been removed to make it easy to clean up the sand. Definitely looking forward to checking out that Commando. Now the Jeep Gladiator Red Bear, and this is another concept that I think Jeep has been doing for the past few years that I really like, where they've been building their over the top concepts and they've also been building their very attainable concepts and the Gladiator Red Bear happens to be one of those. So it's powered by their diesel under the hood and then it's got a ton of bolt on parts that are gonna make it very capable, but also meaning that you can virtually replicate this concept right at home if you like with your very own Gladiator. I love that Jeep is doing that. Now finally, the Jeep Wrangler Orange Peels is a classic tribute to the two-door Wrangler. It's got a very open air feel to it, kind of reminiscent of the CJ66 concept we saw a few years back with that orange and black paint scheme. They've even gone as far as knocking the glass out of the hard top to really open it up. And again, we see a lot of bolt on parts and accessories from the Mopar and Jeep Performance Parts catalog. Now, one of the things that I really, really like about this Orange Peels concept, of course, is 
the doors, the JL factory half doors, the Jeep performance parts half doors on this concept. I can't wait to check those out in person. Now, speaking of those half doors, well, we don't have to wait until we get on the ground in Eastern Jeep Safari because I happen to have a set of JL factory half doors right here. That's right, I've got my hands on a set of JL factory half doors right here on my Gladiator. Now, up until now, we've only seen these half doors in some press photography for the 392, as well as that new orange peels concept we're gonna be checking out next week, but not in person. That is, well, not until today. Now, currently, the only way to get yourself a set of JL factory half doors is to order a new Wrangler and then spec it out with the optional dual door group package. Now, depending on how your Wrangler is coming together and what options you choose, the price will vary. For instance, a two-door Wrangler with the dual door group with base uppers, you're gonna be looking at $2,350. The two-door Wrangler with dual door group with premium uppers is gonna come in at $2,550. Now, if you're doing a four-door Wrangler for the full set with the base uppers, you're at $39.95. And then for a full set with premium uppers, you're now at $43.95. And the catch behind all of this is, of course, well, you can only get these on a new Wrangler. You can't even spec that option on a new Gladiator. Come on, Jeep, what are you doing? Gladiator guys want half doors too. And really, as of right now, there's no ETA as to when we'll be able to purchase a set of JL factory half doors after the fact for you guys out there that already own a Wrangler or a Gladiator and aren't planning on purchasing a new one just to get half doors. Now, I will say with all of that, I am glad to see that Jeep is finally releasing the half doors. Of course, we saw them a number of years ago when the JL was released at the LA Auto Show. Now, gone is that little donut hole opening with the removable panel, but nevertheless, I'm really glad to see half doors available for the Wrangler. I think this is one of those pieces that really embodies the spirit of the Wrangler, along with the folding windshield, removable top. There really is just something great about a set of half doors with removable uppers that let you quickly open up the Jeep to those nice sunny summer days or spring days, but also allow you to lean out and get some great sight lines when you're driving on the trail. Now you may have noticed there's a few items missing from my half doors. I don't have mirrors or door handles or locks. Well, that's not all. Actually, I don't have anything on these doors. I don't have interior panels or lock mechanisms. And that's because these are Jeep replacement parts. They're really just the shell. In fact, when they came out of the box, there's no hinges or no hardware even. You have to get everything separately and put these together because these are intended to be a replacement part to repair or replace something that's been damaged. Now we are currently loading up not only the shell, but all the rest of the replacement parts into our system. So if you like, well, you'll be able to buy all of those individual parts separately and build your own doors. I think that's, well, that might be your best option for right now if you already own your Wrangler or your Gladiator. One other thing I'd love to see Jeep do is to go ahead and maybe not get rid of the dual door group option, but add another option in there. Allow us to spec out a Wrangler or a Gladiator with only half doors, like you used to be able to do with a TJ or even a JK a number of years ago. I mean, do you really need dual door group? Depending on where you live in the country, maybe. Of course, roll-up windows are a nice convenience, especially when you're going through the drive-through, but if you've got removable uppers, I mean, you could probably get away with half doors only, and let's face it, uh, there's just something great about a set of half doors allowing you to quickly open up the Jeep, and frankly, they just look plain cool. Why don't you let me know what your guys' thoughts are on the half doors, as well as anything you'd love to see me take a look at when we're out at Easter Jeep Safari next week. If you haven't already and you like these videos, do me a huge favor, make sure you hit that thumbs up button, don't forget to hit the subscribe button as well as the notification icon. So be sure to catch all our latest videos. As always, until next time, guys, I'm Rob. I'll see you out on the trail in Moab.